Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Professor Sistra, and I wanted to reach out to the CIS 101 class with another video log. This particular session will be dealing with two important things. This particular section will go over Zoom meetings to give clarity to anyone who need it. And also, we will talk about um, the discussion questions and how important they are, okay? So I thought I'd reach out real quick to you. Um, I will be going through various videos as we proceed through this class, so you should be expecting videos to come from me. But today, I want to focus on two important things. Tomorrow, I'm going to focus on my IT lab. So just look for my videos. And if you want clarity on which videos to view, just remember, I will always put CIS 101 in the title of the video so you can be in the know at all times. And I will label them as CIS 101, Project 1, Project 2, Project 3, so you'll know that they are different and they're going over many different subjects. Okay, so let's get started. So, discussion questions, very important. Why are they important? Because it gives me as the professor the opportunity to see how you will be dealing with world events when it comes to technology. Now, this is a technology class, and I like to focus on what's happening in the world when it comes to technology. So many of the videos you will get a chance to see will be specifically dealing with technology. I like to call it spotlight on technology, okay? So you can get in the habit of tuning in in this vast world of ours on what's going on with technology. And it's changing rapidly. So you want to stay on top of what's going on. But when it comes to these discussion questions, I'm going to click the tab up here. You really want to review the videos before you answer the, the discussion questions. Now, this is what I, my take on this. When I go into the discussion questions, I'm pretty much going to see really in detail, did you follow the rules of the ru rubric? And you should know what a rubric is. And I'm also going to focus on, are you having a discussion about the video or are you just making stuff up? You know, some students, they get it, they tend to get a little carried away, but I know you're not that student. Okay, with that being said, um, in the discussions, you will notice that it's really focused on what's happening in the world, what's really going on with technology out there. So all you have to do is go to your syllabi, the the rubric is built into the syllabi, and I always put my rubrics in there so a student cannot say they don't know where to go find it, and read the rules. So if it was me approaching my discussion question, the first thing I would do is pull out my syllabi and look at what the rubric states that should be in there. Two, Review the video, sit back, get you a cup of coffee, a pop, or whatever you like to drink, tea, review the video, and then answer the questions. But like I tell other students, when you answer the question, make sure you're typing these questions in a Word doc. That way you can check your spelling, you can check your grammar, and any anything else that may be important or pertinent to that particular discussion question. Then I would just simply copy it and post it in the area where you need to post your response. Make sure on or before Thursday, you get your initial discussion question in. That's vitally important. Your initial 
discussion question should be on or before Thursday, 10 p. 10 59 p.m. Now, some of you are going to be saying, oh, I got up until 11 o'clock or 11.59. You're going to find out that you don't have that <laughs> real quick. Once you post your initial question, you got two other questions to post. Just making a comment on what you what your fellow classmates had a discussion about or what they what they posted. This is the way of having a group of individual students can, can communicate and elaborate on each other's work, not to get away or stray from what the discussion is about. Now, you must pay attention to this. There, is, there should be no disrespect, no anger, or any of that foolishness in this class. Focus on what the student said and try your best to answer or talk to the student about it. Those, those responses are basically up to you. Just as long as you're not one of them students who will go in there and say, Oh, Professor Sistrong, I understand what you said. And that's it. <laughs> Don't do that. Or I agree with you. And that's it. Pay attention to that rule bit. It's important. Now, the, that covers the discussion question. You just simply, if you follow what I, I just laid out, you okay. Now, let's talk about the Zoom meetings and why they are so important. So I'm going to come over here to content and I'm going to come down to where the Zoom meetings are listed. Now, I'm not going to click on the Zoom meetings because I have the pertinent information in there that we share among each other and I don't want anyone else to see that. But we it is mandatory that we have three Zoom meetings. I will send you an email a week prior to us having our meeting. That way you can get fully prepared. It will be seven days to get yourself ready for that meeting. Now, these meetings are important to me and they should be important to you. The first meeting is me getting a chance to elaborate a little on the course. You know, some students going to email me, others not. So this will be a chance to say, hey, do you guys understand the course? These are things I'm looking for, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The other two meetings will be a week before you take your midterm and final. Why? Because I want to specifically let you know how to complete that final and that midterm. That way I know you are not in the dark about anything. They are important. So that's just basically it when it comes to the discussion questions and the Zoom. But what I want to say to you is this. If you have a problem anywhere in this class, I consider that mission critical. At that moment, that point that you have a problem, you immediately send me an email and say, hey, Professor Sistro, I don't quite understand something. And that's when I'll jump in and either do one or two things. I will send you an email, email back explaining the question, or I will send you a Zoom meeting and say, can we meet at this time? But this is what you can do to save yourself. If you feel you need a meeting, just simply send me a date and a time and say, Professor Sistrong, can I meet with you because it's some things I do not understand. Now, do not wait till Sunday at 9.59 to try to send that email out. This should be something well in advance so I'll know that you're actually going through the course material and you doing what is required and what's needed. But if you have to wait to the end, make sure you get in contact with me. It's important. Okay, so that was the discussion question. That was the Zoom meeting. If you need more clarity, please reach out to me. Most of you are in there just knocking it out with no problem. The very last thing that I want to have a discussion about is that it's coming up to that 
first week of class where it is, man it is mandatory that I look at the student's work and decide what students will stay and what students have to be let go. This is something that I have no control over. This is a policy from the, the state as well as the college that if students are not participating, I have to get you off my roster. Please do not be one of them students that I have to drop because you didn't do work in the class. Okay? I'm sure everybody will get their work in, but know that they have been sent out. Now, I do not let students back in my class once I drop them. That's just a rule and a policy that I follow. And I have a lot of students that they, well, not a lot of students because it ain't like I had to drop a lot of students. I don't know what I'm talking about with that. But I, I have had some that I had to drop. So I don't want to drop you. So please make sure you take care of your work. Okay, with that being said, I will be rolling out videos after videos every one or two days. So always look for them. How you will recognize the videos that's for you, you will see CIS 101 and it will say Project 1, Project 2, etc., etc. These video logs is mission critical. These video logs are mission critical to make sure you understand your class. So I would always touch on a subject to make sure you're okay. After this first week, or close to the end of this first week, I'm gonna start dealing with particular things in the chapter, like discussions about each particular chapter, so you'll know about it. But come tomorrow or the next day, you're gonna receive a video log about how to work inside of my lab IT. I want to make sure you are clearly in the know about how to do that work. I hope you enjoyed this video session. I enjoy teaching classes and I hope that you are having a wonderful experience as we proceed through these weeks. This is Professor Sistrunk and I will see you in the next video log. Have a lovely day.